Hi, welcome to the tutorial on learning fast API. This is the second video in the series. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to getting started with fast API. I've already created a repository on the GitHub. I'll be sharing the link at the end of this video. So now let us start by creating a folder named source where all the code that I'll be covering in this video and the coming uh, videos of the tutorial will be saved. All the code samples can be copied and used directly. Let's start developing our fast API application. The first thing that we need to do is to install fast API. For the tutorial, you might want to install it with all the optional dependencies and features. If you are using pip, just type in pip install fast API and within square brackets add all, which includes even the UVCon that we will be using as a server that runs our code. So for those who are not aware what UVCon is, it's a lightning fast ASGI server built on UV loops and HTTP tools. For more details, go to www.uvcon.org. But in our case, I'll be doing it using a requirements.txt file. So let's go ahead and create a new text file and name it requirements.txt. TXT. Here we can enter the list of dependencies that we want. So uh, we would want fast API and we would want UECON. What I would want to remind you is that we can also add the version numbers, but here the name should do the job. So once we have done this, let's save the file. Before we proceed, it's better we create a virtual environment. And creating virtual environment in PyCharm is very simple. I've covered creating virtual environment in another video, which uh, for which I've given the link over here. You can click on that and uh, check it out if you are uh, uh, not aware of uh, creating or not sure how to create a virtual environment. So let's proceed. I've already created a virtual environment for the project and I expect you to create one. Now let us proceed with installing the packages. We have already created the requirements file and have entered the list of required packages in it. If I open the virtual environment settings, if you can see over here, this is the virtual environment that I've created. I've given the same name as uh, the project. I click on that and go to interpreter settings. If you can see the virtual environment has only these three packages installed packages that we have mentioned in requirement.txt has not been installed yet okay now let me go ahead and create a python file to show you how easy it is to add or install packages see if you can see as soon as i've created the python file you see this notification bar appears at the top of the screen this notification bar has two options one is it says install requirements, other one is ignore the requirements. It's, it's asking us to go ahead and install the requirements. As soon as I click on this, I get an option showing what are the things that I need to install and clicking install, it goes ahead and installs it. If you can see here, it says installing fast API package, right? Now it's installing the UECON. It goes ahead and installs all the packages that we have given as well as their dependencies. Now we have a notification here. It says that the packages were installed successfully. If I go back to interpreter settings, here you can see a list of other packages other than UECON and Fast API, which we have mentioned. These two depend on the other packages. So now our application is ready with the packages. Now we can just go ahead and start entering the code. Now let me copy a code snippet over here. So now this is a simple code snippet. I, I'll go ahead and explain to you later on what exactly it does. Okay. Now this is the very basic thing that we require for us to run a REST API that's been created using fast API. Now to run this, there are many options. The first option would be going to the terminal and then entering uvcon and then 
the app name which is here it is 002 underscore getting this is the module and then the app as soon as I run this we got an error I raise this error to show you a simple mistake which we often do I, I wanted you to know how to solve this error because when I was learning I spent quite a lot of time finding out what exactly was happening here if you see this the first part is the web server which we are talking about the second one is a module and third one is app which is the app that I have given to here now in our case I have just given this name but if you see we are in the folder D projects Python and then learning fast API but if you see where the file is it is under source so what we need to do is either move into that folder and then run the same command again now the server has started and it is waiting for the required requests this is the URL where our application is available now let us copy this one and uh, paste it in the browser and execute it here you can see we get a JSON response saying hello world entering the command from the terminal is one way of starting the Yukon application now we'll see another option that is available now let me close this by clicking Control C this is one way the other way is going ahead and creating a configuration run or debug configuration because we in future we would also want to debug our application while developing so it's always better we create a configuration PyCharm provides the run and debug configuration dialog as a tool for handling the configurations so create a configuration profile click on add configuration I'll just go ahead I'll select a simple Python configuration and in the script path I am going to select the file that I would want to run so in our case it is this file select that and that is all that we need to do we have the interpreter by default based on our click on apply and close it now a configuration is selected now we know we need not go ahead and every time enter this command we can just go ahead and either press Control F5 to run the application or click on this the next icon which is for debugging the application so now whenever I debug this is a file that will run so now let me run this instead of debug click on that when I click on that you can see that this we got an error message it says that it process finished with exit code the reason is the application doesn't know what it should do how it should be run so for that I'll add an additional code over here okay this code requires a UICON but we have no we don't have the UICON reference and it says we are getting an error saying UICON reference unresolved UICON reference all we need to do is click on this and then press alt enter and automatically it will be added to the code this is the advantage of using PyCharm or similar GUIs okay now the application is ready save it and go ahead and run the application and now you can see it started you can see the same thing working again it's run now this is about running our first application but remember while talking about the features in the previous video I mentioned about automatic documents that were getting generated so let us try that as well now let us go back to our browser and type in the URL the same URL and at the end let us add the word docs and when I click on that it opens up a swagger UI and it also displays the API that is there with all the additional information that we can use to call it and we can also try it out to you here this is the only API that I have uh, exposed if I click on that 
we get a button click on it and then we get a response see the response it's an application json response this was the command now we have got a response over here and the response body is message hello world and the, even the response header is there and this is the code that we have got we can all this information is available or we didn't write even a single line of code and all this comes for free if, if you don't like swagger so much we have another one which is redoc instead of docs you can enter redoc this is from redoc and you can use either one whichever you are comfortable with thank you